How do you charge your electric car at a public charging station? Living with an electric car is easy. Most people do the majority of their charging at home. However, if you have to visit a public charging station, there are a few key details that will help make the experience hassle-free. Hello, fellow car enthusiasts. Welcome back to Automotive Class, the ultimate destination for all things automotive. Today, we're delving into the electrifying world of electric cars as we answer the burning question, how do you charge your electric car at a public charging station? Whether you're a seasoned electric driver or just starting your journey into the world of emission-free driving, this guide is tailor-made for you. So join us as we demystify the process and empower you to charge up with confidence. Let's jump into the future of driving right here on Automotive Class. Helpful tips for hassle-free public EV charging. Most electric vehicle owners charge at home a majority of the time. One of the best aspects of EV ownership is being able to plug in your car when you get home from work and wake up in the morning to a full charge. This means no more gas station visits. There are exceptions, of course. People who live in apartments, condos, or rental homes may not have the option to charge at home. You also can't charge at home if you're traveling. Chances are you can select a destination that has charging stations on site or nearby, but if your road trip takes you beyond your EV's range, you'll have to use public charging stations. While public charging is available for EV owners who need to use it, it's not always reliable, and there are still areas where charging infrastructure is limited. You may need to plan your route carefully and even go a bit out of your way in some cases, but you should find that many charging stations are conveniently located. When everything is working properly, public charging can be as easy as plugging in your car and waiting until it has enough capacity to get you to your destination, or at least to the next charging station. That said, there are many details you should know to make your public charging experience hassle-free. Charging speeds vary widely among EVs and charging stations. Different electric cars use different types of charging connectors, and prices and payment methods vary by station. Saving time while getting the most out of your charging pit stops requires a basic understanding of how charging curves work. In other words, it's important to know how often you should stop to charge your EV and how long you should plan on charging at each stop. Charging Levels Speed There are currently three charging speeds, Level 1, Level 2, and DC Fast Charging, which is sometimes referred to as Level 3. That's not technically accurate, as Level 3 doesn't formally exist, but that's a discussion for another day. Level 1 charging refers to plugging into a standard 120-volt wall outlet. Any EV can be charged using any normal outlet in your home, but it only adds about 3 to 5 miles of range per hour. It will take days to charge an EV's battery fully using this method. Most EV owners have a 240-volt outlet installed at their home so that they can use a Level 2 charger. This way, they can add about 20 to 25 miles of range per hour, and more in some cases. With Level 2 charging, you should be able to charge your car to full capacity overnight. If you're going on a road trip, chances are you can find a Level 2 public charging station at or near your destination. Level 2 charging stations are the most common throughout the country, and they're sometimes free to use. However, Level 2 charging is not ideal for use while you're on the road. It makes more sense when you have time to stop for several hours, such as while you're at work or staying at a hotel. DC fast chargers are the most useful for road trips. These chargers also vary by speed, but you can expect to charge your battery to about 80% in roughly 20 to 60 minutes. If you're planning a road trip in your EV, it would be wise to map out, if possible, try to book a hotel with Level 2 charging access on site or nearby as well. Connectors Plugs. One of the most confusing aspects of EV charging is that there are three types of connectors. The most common is known industry-wide as SAE J1772. Every electric car in the U.S. can charge at Level 1 or Level Level 2 public charging stations all use J1772 connectors. If an EV is capable of DC fast charging, it will have a J1772 connector with two additional large pins that allow it to plug into and charge using a DCFC system. This is called an SAE Combined Charging System, CCF. Nissan and Mitsubishi use a Chatamo connector for DC fast charging. This means you can't fast charge the Nissan LEAF or Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV at charging stations that have CCS connectors. However, Nissan's new Aria electric SUV officially marks the brand's departure from the Chatamo connector in favor of the CCS connector. The third connector only applies to Tesla vehicles. It's not compatible with any other electric car, though that may change in the near future. The Tesla connector is the smallest and most streamlined among charging connectors, and it works for all charging levels. However, every Tesla vehicle also comes with a J1772 adapter that allows it to charge at non-Tesla Level 2 public charging stations. Tesla also offers Shademo and CCS adapters for DCFC. Charging Basics 
There are many mobile apps designed to help EV drivers find charging stations. Some of the most widely used are PlugShare, ChargePoint, ZapMap, a better route planner, Open Charge Map, Charge Hub, and Chargeway. Some apps not only locate charging stations, but also inform you of the speed of available chargers, what connectors they have, and whether they're occupied. Tesla vehicles have a built-in trip planner that's capable of all the above, and other automakers are beginning to follow suit. Every electric car battery has a charging curve. While it can prove confusing, the basic concept is relatively simple. Charging speed climbs rapidly to a peak rate for a time, and then slows as the battery gets closer to full capacity. Think of filling a glass with water. You can pour rather quickly at first, but you have to slow as the glass fills up or it will overflow. Taking an EV's charging curve into consideration, it typically makes the most sense to begin fast charging when the battery is at a low state of charge and stop the session at around 80%. This way you can charge quickly and get back on the road. Waiting for the car to charge to full can take much longer than charging to 80% since the last 20% could take as long if not longer than the first 80%. Once you notice that your car's charging speed begins to slow significantly, it's time to end your charging session and get back on the road. Charging to 80% is also better for the life of your battery and more considerate to other EV drivers who may be waiting to use the charging station. Before you leave home to depart for your road trip, you should charge your EV to 100%. Once you arrive at your destination, you can use a Level 2 public charging station to charge the car to 100% once again. Level 2 charging is cheaper than DCFC or free. And when it comes to charging that final 20%, DCFC won't provide a notable time advantage. Charging networks. There are a variety of charging networks across the country, and the list is growing. Aside from the Tesla Supercharger Network, the three largest networks in the U.S. are managed by EVgo, ChargePoint, and Electrify America. Pricing and payment plans and methods vary among charging networks, and pricing can fluctuate based on the day of the week and the time of day. If you're lucky, you may be able to find a Level 2 station that's free to use. DC fast charging stations typically require an access card or a mobile app for use. You simply link your debit or credit card to the app and you're ready to go. Unlike gas stations, few public fast charging stations have credit card readers. Some charging networks offer special plans that require a monthly fee and reduce the cost of charging. Regardless, DC fast charging is more expensive than level 2 charging, so it's best to only use it when you have no other option. Thankfully, even the priciest public fast charging stations will save you money over paying for gas. As we conclude this electrifying session, we hope you're now equipped with the knowledge to charge your electric ride hassle-free. If you found this guide valuable, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your fellow EV enthusiast, and subscribe for more deep dives into the automotive universe. Have your own charging stories or tips to share? Drop them in the comments below and let's keep the conversation buzzing. Until our next journey together, stay charged, stay curious, and keep the passion for automobiles alive. This is Automotive Class signing off. Drive safe and may your roads always be charged with excitement.